What if I told you that you've been using AI the wrong way and that there is a much better optimized way to get the best out of even a simple generative model? Researchers in artificial intelligence believe that the path to AGI or artificial general intelligence is by leveraging the agentic AI workflow. But what exactly is an agentic AI workflow and how can we use it in our daily tasks and business decision making? To find out, we will go through several important concepts in very recent AI developments using examples from prominent research studies that I will share with you today. Most probably you've been interacting with AI as a zero shot use of large language models and chatbots. For example, asking an LLM or chatbot to generate a text, story, code, or image for you, and sometimes getting disappointing results. But there's a much better way of interacting with an LLM or any AI tool, and that's to make an agentic workflow. To give an initial simplified understanding of it, an agentic system asks the same model to refine its outputs in an iterative process using a series of feedback to get to the final answer or results on a task. This is pretty much how humans complete a task. We just don't sit there and complete a task from start to finish. Instead, we make a series of revisions on multiple iterations of our works by redrafting, proofreading, fixing the errors, asking our colleagues for critical comments and so on to complete a project. This is illustrated by this research study, Self-Refine Iterative Refinement with Self-Feedback by Medon et al. in 2023. As they put it, the main idea is to generate an initial output using an LLM, then the same LLM provides feedback for its output and uses it to refine itself iteratively. Self-refine does not require any supervised training data, additional training or reinforcement learning, and instead uses a single LLM as the generator, refiner and feedback provider. They tested this new method across seven different tasks, including text and code generation, and found that the self-refined versions outperformed their base generative models such as GPT-4. They also noticed that the outputs keep improving with more iterations. This ability of an AI system or language model to correct and refine itself is also referred to as reflection. You can see an instance of it in this new framework, Reflection Language Agents with Verbal Reinforcement Learning by Shin et al. in 2023. The authors showed that using linguistic feedback and asking the model to self-refine itself is more effective than the traditional reinforcement learning method, for example, by updating weights. As you see, the new reflection method outperformed previous refinement methods on reasoning and decision making as well as code generation. You might have already experimented with this before, for example, by asking ChatGPT or any local LLM to give you an alternative or better output or to correct a faulty code. But did you know that now algorithms can do this for you too? Let's take a look at one of these algorithms. The reflection method of agentic AI uses verbal reinforcement to help agents learn from prior failings. Reflection converts binary or scalar feedback from the environment into verbal feedback in the form of a textual summary, which is then added as additional context for the LLM agent in the next episode. An evaluation signal which helps the system to find the cause of an error or problem further amplifies the feedback in the previous step. These two feedback blocks remain in the long-term memory and then pass to the actor which is built on a large language model. This iterative process continues until the desired output is received from the agent. I highly recommend you read this paper to see how this interesting evaluator component works. But that's not all to agentic AI systems. A main component in the agentic AI workflow is the ability of these generative models and large language models to use tools just like humans to perform a task. If that's new to you, keep watching. This paper even proposes agentic systems that can access a variety of tools via API calls. The authors have also made a tool called Gorilla, which is based on Llama and can effectively write API calls with accurate arguments. Look at this example where Gorilla outperforms both GPT-4 and Cloud in an API call. 
They successfully tested Gorilla on a document retriever task and even built a comprehensive API dataset that all LLMs can use as part of completing a user task. Is that not so cool? The third important concept in an agentic AI workflow that I wanted to share with you is planning. In the words of Andrew Ng, it is giving the LLM the chance to work more slowly and plan the completion of a task in steps, for example, by explaining the reasoning behind each result in clear steps. This concept is explained in this paper as chain of thought prompting or providing a model with a series of intermediate reasoning steps that they claim can help LLMs tackle complex reasoning tasks. They show how prompt engineering with a chain of thought outperforms standard prompting across various language models and test datasets. Feel free to pause the video and read these examples of the chain of thought that are implemented on a famous reasoning test, GSM-8K. I've already made a video about this test dataset. I'll put a link to it in the description box as well. This concept of AI as a controller of other AI models has already been implemented in Hugging GPT as described in this paper. What the authors have done is essentially use ChatGPT as a controller to receive the task prompt from a user and then divide it into subtasks. The controller then uses any relevant model available in the Hugging Face repositories to perform the subtask and retain the results, and even combine the results of multiple AI models for very complex tasks that involve multiple modalities such as text, speech, and vision. An example of it is to generate an image of a girl reading a book with her pose being the same as another image provided to the agent and finally to describe the new image in your voice. This really fascinating framework follows four stages of task planning, task selection, task execution, and response generation that you can also use to complete your projects. I will leave the full reference of this work in the description box so you can also check out these examples such as visual question answering and object detection. As if these advancements aren't cool enough, we have now a very exciting framework for multi-agent collaboration as well. Just as multiple AI models or LLMs can collaborate on one task to make an agentic system, we can get multiple agentic systems to collaborate with each other too. Think Crew AI or Autogen. What's even more interesting about systems such as Autogen is the collaboration between humans and multiple agentic systems. This is so important because in some cases, human input and judgment become necessary to direct the course of action by LLMs and their agentic designs. This step is usually done by customizable and conversable agents. The cherry on top is that many of these systems and algorithms are already open source, which means you can use them right off the bat to build your own applications. The authors of Autogen, for example, showcased six applications and use cases such as math problem solving, retrieval, augmented chat, ALF chat, for example, based on the idea of ALF world in this application as an AI detector and navigator, multi-agent coding, dynamic group chat, and conversational chess. But these are not just potential use cases. The chat dev application has already been built on the same idea that is fully described in this paper, communicative agents for software development. Chat dev is a virtual company that employs multiple agents with different roles in the process of software development, such as designing, coding, testing, and documenting agents. Each of these agents could use multiple LLMs or generative models that mimic what human engineers do and converse in a real world company. For example, self-reflection, instructions and testing and so on. The authors documented how this multi-agent workflow significantly reduces the costs of software development, even when using API calls. But they emphasize that because these systems are in their initial development stages, there are some biases and risks involved in the process, depending on the choice of LLMs and their training data. If you like this video, consider subscribing and let me know if you have a plan or idea to use an agentic AI workflow for your projects.